Hello and welcome to St Ives. St Ives, we're at Norris Museum. I say we, she's disappeared. She's hiding around the corner doing something with some coffins. Well, this is uh, Norris Museum in St Ives, a very small one, but uh, I think it's gonna be worth the look. Come inside with me and Bazzy if she wants to come in. Have you ever heard of J Gervais Matcham? No. no? Well this here, apparently this was wrapped around him, he got executed because he cut the throat of Benjamin Jones, a 15 year old boy. So he got sentenced to death and they hung him. And this, it says it was an iron belt which he wore when he, when he got killed. Back in what, 1786? Mm -hmm. Wow. Have you heard of Joshua Slade? Mm, no. No? Do you want to know about him? Yeah. He, he killed a reverend. How can you kill a man of the cloth? He, <laughs> he killed a reverend, and that is said to be part of his noose from when they hung him, and part of his skin. Ew. Skin off the back of his neck. <laughs> that's a bit weird, isn't it? That's his skin, is it? Well, I think that's part of his skin. I'm reading it there. A cast of Slade's face and a piece of his skin. I don't know, if, I don't know which that is. It's either from a cast of his face or it's a piece of his skin. So you've got some old armour here. See that there, Mazzy? Yeah. That's where they've taken a shot at it to make sure that it was uh, armour proof and they couldn't shoot through it. Wow. That's pretty cool. And this helmet they actually found hidden in a cottage. Wow. So that, I don't know, I don't know the dates on it, but that looks like one I put on. Can you remember in a museum? Yeah. And that was from Cromwell <laughs> times, so it might be from the Civil War. This cat and rat were found in a box behind the hearth of a 17th century cottage. Go on, are you going to open it? Are they in there? Oh, I don't know, are they in there? <laughs> Have a look. <laughs> wow. Oh, how amazing! It's dead. Well, is it a, a cat and a what? A cat and a rat, I think. Yeah. It's Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry? Yeah. <laughs> that's quite special, Mazzy. Right. So that's from Ramsey Abbey. Right. Now, the monks of Ramsey Abbey, they're the ones who built the bridge which we're going to. Oh, okay. It was, they built it out of wood to start with, but they built the bridge. But this place didn't always, it wasn't called St Ives in the past. It used to be called, um, it says on here somewhere, Sleep. Or Sleppy, Sleep. Sleep. It was called Sleep, but they changed the name to St. Ives. After St. Ivor, who apparently was buried here somewhere. But that's from the original abbey, that's pretty cool. That's so cool. Looks like a goat or something in there. What do you say that's a goat? Uh, how do you say a goat? <laughs> Four legs. Oh yeah. And it looks like some horns there. It's got a lady A lady? Yeah. Yeah. Now I was saying this little poem to you on the way here, wasn't I? Yeah. I don't know if you've heard of this, guys, but I was brought up singing this in school and things. As I was going to St Ives, I met a man with seven wives. Each wife had seven sacks, each sack had seven cats, each cat had seven kits. Kits, cats, sacks and wives. How many were there going to St Ives? What's the answer? One. One? One? Yeah. To be honest, I don't know the answer. If you can leave the answer in the comments, I can't remember the answer. But, we were talking about this because I says, no, it's not from this St Ives, because there's loads of St Ives in England. You've got one near where I'm from, there's one in Cornwall, and there's one here. But I think it is from here, because here was the largest medieval market in Europe. Yeah. And uh, it says there, a man with... Uh, seven sacks. I'm guessing this is to do with this place and not the other St Ives's. So that is really cool. That's reminds me of my childhood. Right, you can play now anyway. There's play bits for you. I'll leave you there. I'm going to look at other stuff.
some fascinating things in here. Now, there's no signs telling you exactly what everything is, but this is pretty good because you've got Roman time things here. Some Roman coins there. Lovely little uh, cockerel at the top. We've got Iron Age. Now that is, look at the detail on that. I don't know if that's gold or not, but wonderful. Then you've got Bronze Age spearheads here. Move over here, you've got coins from the 1500s right up to the 1830s. Some beauties there. Got medieval over here. That's a nice, very nice ring. Loving that. And last but not least, Saxon. Why can't I find anything like this? So that's a tusk of a woolly mammoth. Do you know what that is, Mazzy, down there? Oh, yeah. Tape. <laughs> it is, that's a tooth. Look at the size of that compared to that. It don't yeah. fit like... Unless this is from a baby one, and that's from an adult one. But that tooth would not fit in that mouth, would it? That's huge, isn't it? Definitely got some decay. That is a sad little story. This is the airman. He was d driving a Spitfire. Flying a Spitfire even. And it crashed and he died. And these are some of his belongings which they recovered. A cigarette case and a watch there. That's so sad. So this is an aircraft which crashed in 1918. Straight through the roof of a church there. And you've got this photo frame made out of part of the actual plane part of the propeller there and a stool and a domino scoreboard which were also made out of the plane wow do you know anything about the history of skates would you like to know yeah okay well here's some skates various ages but did you know the blades used to be made out of bone I did know that, actually. Yeah. You knew that? Um, you knew that, really? Yeah. How did you know that? I don't know. I just know some things. Yeah. I don't think you do. But well, anyway, that's one of them down there. Don't hit me again, please. <laughs> um, but they weren't attached. They weren't skates. They didn't have skates. They had normal shoes, and they attached them to the bottom of the normal shoes. Oh, that's it is interesting, isn't it? Possibly the nicest pipe I've ever seen in my life. Look at the decoration on that. And you've got a few more down here. Very nice. Look at that one. It's got writing on that one. Made in London. So this is the cabinet of curiosities. And the first thing we've noticed is some mammoth hair. I wonder how it still remains hair. You'd think it'd fossilise, wouldn't you, or do something. <laughs> or rot. What else have we got in here? This, what is this? Well, that has to be an elephant's foot, this, surely. Mm, that, can't be real, is that is a real elephant's foot. Oh. Has to be. Oh. That's an egg. Oh, an ostrich head? I wouldn't have thought it's an ostrich head, because that wouldn't be very yeah. unusual, really, would it? I'm thinking a dodo. Could it be a dodo? I've no idea. I've no idea. Were dodos even real? I think they're an extinct bird out there. I think they were real. Might be a dinosaur for all I know. I've no idea. Can someone tell me? So this is where we're going next. St Ives Bridge. Great story to tell you there. Well, that's a really nice picture of St Ives, is that? Art. Just some random coffins here, straight outside the museum. No signs, don't know anything about them, but I'm pretty sure they're coffins. Just outside the museum at the moment, and we've seen this little board, so I had to come and have a look, because I like boards. Do you like boards? They can be really interesting, full of stuff. Now, this area is called the Waits 
I don't know why, but the wits, there is a Saxon word uh, which called wit, W-I-H-T, and it might be to do with that, because wit means bending a river, so it could well mean that. I haven't just made that up, I just read it there. But you can see here, right, you've got the church there, the river here, and the houses there. Here it is flooded in 19, 1912. Uh, and another interesting fact, look, you've got John Wesley, the father of Methodism, the Methodist church. He came here. That's pretty cool, in 1776. So that was Norris Museum. What did you think of Norris Museum? Yeah, it was really good. It's probably the smallest museum I've ever been in. Yeah. Really small. Free to get in, but some really interesting things in there. Um, probably a very short video, but literally the size of two sheds put together, but really, really cool stuff. How many thing? How many marks out of ten would you give Norris Museum in St Ives? Six. Six? Yeah. I'll... Give it a seven. I think six is a low score for anywhere. I'm always a bit too kind with my scores. But I think seven, because there is some really interesting stuff. Yeah, but they, they had no signs to tell us what Oh, they yeah. Were. All That's right. why I knocked it. We'll give it a six. I'll go along with you there. <laughs> we'll give it a six because there's no signs up telling you what the things are. Uh, there is certain bits, and you can read. But there should be like a catalogue showing you every single thing which is in there because there's some things. There was a big egg with an hole in the top. We don't know if it was an ostrich egg, a dodo egg, a dinosaur egg, or a fried egg. No <laughs> idea what kind of egg it was. But uh, yeah, I really enjoyed that. Right, we're hanging around St. Ives for a bit. We've got some more things to show you. Um, see you at the next. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Come on, let's go. It's going to be a good long day for us today. Many thanks for watching guys, please don't forget to click like, subscribe, leave a comment and share the video. And be sure to check out my other channel Deep Digger Dan and my website thetraveltroll.uk. You can also follow me on Facebook, on Twitter and on Instagram. But most importantly please do donate to the charity which we're supporting in this county. All links to everything I've just mentioned are all in the description below. Please come back tomorrow as we continue our adventure to try and make the biggest video library of the sites of the UK. Goodbye!